and welcome back to more Martian Gothic, where we are once again playing as Karn. This dude, yes. We're going to have to leave Judith now, because we have stuff to do. We have stuff to do. We have places to go, which involve getting through non-dead. A few of them. And I don't know if I... Okay, I don't think I did. Yes, you you still seem... I don't know why they're taking more Dillon Jammo now. It's shouldn't be getting any warmer than it's already gotten. I, you know, whatever. That's fine. Anyway, we're heading to the Kremlin. Which is that one door I showed you earlier, which... On the map, it's labeled as a rainbow tag door, but there's only one rainbow tag room. And that was the one with Judith. This one... We unlocked with the computer, and here we are. And uh, before I do anything else, I want to make sure I remembered the main hatch code. Please say it was 3471. Yes. All that is in here are these contact lenses. Everyone's going to need a pair. I will leave one with Karn. And we are going to put, yeah, the pop gun. We haven't really fucked that in a while, have we? We're, we're going to put the pop gun in there and close this and I'm going to have Karn walk over here now pay attention because there's a shitload of non-dead in here you might you might have counted three that's because there are three okay cool we managed to drop that one with one shot okay now you may not notice it but there's a painting right here let's let's examine that Personally, I prefer the wistful but charming evanescence of the post-impressionist. Very, very insightful. That's one of two paintings that that one dude on that microcorder said he made. One's here, and one of them's in the Arkham dorm. That's, and this dude's still... Okay. No. No. You die. Or, okay, fine. That's fine. I don't care. That's fine. You get one freebie. Now you drop dead. Because you actually have something on your body, which is this herb and this microcorder that we're going to listen to right now. Simon Fellner, Biolob Operative. Day log, August 8th, 2018, 9.43 p.m. Haraway's left me in charge of the Kremlin while most of the crew were down in the necropolis on the final phase of Operation Akarak. I'm sitting here in solitary splendor, talking to myself. I'm not complaining. Those subterranean chambers give me the spooks. And it's bloody freezing. Just a moment. Updated emergency hatch code coming in. 0756. 11.57pm. Haraway came in for the flare bolts a while ago. But she only took a couple of them. She couldn't find the flare gun. She told me to stay put. I have not argued. The alarm's been going the last ten minutes. Red alert quarantine condition. Bulkhead sealed. I've been screamed and turned my blood to red ice. And the other sounds. Louder. Unhuman. The sounds are getting closer. But the Kremlin don't keep a charging mammoth. I'm safe in here. I'm safe. God in heaven. They're coming through the walls. Okay. I don't think they come through the walls in, while I'm playing, but you know, that, that's, the only thing important there was flare bolts and hatch code. The emergency hatch, to be exact, which was 0, 7, 5, 6. Yeah, those are flare bolts. I'm going to be giving Matlock that ammunition in, in a few minutes. Right now I'm going to open this back up, I'm going to deposit brown herb in there, and that microcorder in there. And now we're going to run over here, while everyone's still down. You may have noticed there's another switch on the opposite side, let's examine it. Gremlin power switches. Do a person operation. It'll take two to make these switches tango. Okay, well, we obviously can't have two people in the same room, so let's just... Go over here and look at this computer. The power's cut off. Oh, 
That means we have to slip the, the yeah, we have to flip both of those switches in order to get power going. So yeah, apparently this is a puzzle, isn't it? You guessed it. You guessed it. Let me save once. Now the trick here I I I don't know. There's there's a, there's a hell of a trick here. Let me let me switch back to Karn real quick. Uh, as long as you're behind the desk, that's a safe spot. Right now, I have to put Karn into danger by putting him in front of this switch. Now, one of Ben's gun notes had some kind of reference about pop in it, and I think that's the only clue as to how to solve this puzzle, because here we go. I, I'm going to take the pop gun and, well, take the browner while I'm at it, plus some contact lenses, and you know, let's have her examine this. I've got a terrible aim. Okay, that's... That's not good, but... I think she can do this. Alright. Now what? Actually, hold on. Hold on. Before, before we do this... Let's open the emergency hatch. You take those flare bolts right now. Alright. Now get this. The only purpose of the pop gun... You do this, you switch to this point of view... Just kind of aim... A little, and fire. It wasn't exactly simultaneous, but, you know, it was close enough for this game. That computer's active. Uh, I'm going to have Matlock just kind of get over there while I move Karn, because those non-dead will get back up and totally fuck my day. But as long as I have Karn behind the desk, it, it should be okay. It, sh it should be okay. Now I'm going to move Matlock back to where she was before, but first. But first. Absolutely no more use for the pop gun. You may have noticed I also gave her the number four green tag and the uh, drive belt. That's because we're going to be using those fairly soon. Oh, wait a minute. I Oh, that, that would have sucked. I'm trying to have her do stuff without being armed. That... There's no way to go through Vita Base. Not at all. Okay, yes. Run, run, run. Alright, yeah. That's, that's an example of the quick turn. I, I finally figured out how to do that. I don't know if I showed that before or not. Okay, here we go. Switching back to Karn. Let's use this computer. There's a message here. Sent months ago. It's for me. Okay, people. I've received a message from the Underground. The Resistance. With all we've been through together, I reckon it's time to come clean. Judith and me joined up with the Underground five years back. I've been undermining Earth Control's operations from the inside. I don't know how much you've learned or guessed about the Thule program, but what I've seen up here confirms what a lot of people thought. Thule is a program of psionic warfare, and the experiences the Vita base crew reported convinced Allenby that Mars was the source of an ancient psychic power. If that power were harnessed, it could be used as a weapon against potential enemies. Maybe you got the idea that Thule stood for some form of bacterial warfare, an alien bioweapon. I knew it couldn't be bacterial warfare, sir. That would be a complete waste of time. Even at the end of the 20th century, there were enough bacteriological weapons in existence to wipe out the Earth ten times over. Why look for more? But psychic warfare, the potential to control your enemy's minds, that's a prize Earth control would give the moon for, literally. But I'll tell you what, Carl, as of now, you can consider me the latest recruit to the underground, as Rodine-educated girls are all rebels anyway. What about you, Kenzo? Okay. I'm glad you're with me. Now let's try sticking the evils back in Pandora's box. That can't be done, you know. I know. But let's try. So Karn's a good guy after all, and everyone who wanted him dead shut up. I, I never understood that. Uh-oh. 
Okay, I need to switch characters real quick because this game is glitching out. For some reason it glitches at this point. I don't know why. Oh, that's that sucks a big one. Okay, cool. Okay, I can move Kenzo around. Let's make sure Matt Locke's doing okay. Okay, you're fine. Now can I move Karn? Please say I can move Karn. Yes, and I can actually interact with the computer. I don't know why it glitches right there, but it does. Or it has for me. So I'm going to save a couple times. And uh, there's a few restricted files. The fuel file, the password for that you might not remember. It's from the Bible. It was Wormwood. It basically just says exactly what they just said, and I'm not going to look into that. But next time on Martian Gothic, maybe we look into the Karakarak file. Who knows? I will see you later. Bye.